I've been wanting to make a website for a very long time. I've spent the last couple months trying to learn how to code and I've tried a bunch of different resources to find the most optimal way to put together a good looking simple website. And finally, I found one. And the best thing about this specific resource is one, you don't need to know how to code. Two, you can make them super quickly and the resource is also free as well. And if you watch till the end of this video, you'll know exactly how I use this resource and make websites that look like this. Recently, I made this website which showcases my logbook template for delivery drivers. And I also made this very brief portfolio of myself in about an hour and I'm going to show you exactly how I did and how you can make your own sites as well and in addition to that I'm also going to show you how I would replicate my friend's site that he got made for him very recently just to showcase the utility of this resource now this resource I'm going to be discussing today is called time dream I discovered it on Twitter and I've seen a few creators on both Twitter and LinkedIn talk about it and because I've been wanting to create my own site I decided to give it a go and I was completely blown away I hadn't experienced anything like it because I know now I can make simple good-looking websites at will and before getting into the tutorial and explaining how I've made these websites, I mentioned that you can use the resource for free. For example, I've made these two sites completely for free. And only when you want to have a site that has like a custom domain and some of these other features is only when you need to pay for the service. Also, if you want to help me out, I'll leave my affiliate link to Type Dream in the description. All right, so firstly, I'm just going to do a brief overview of what my portfolio is looking like. So it's pretty plain and vanilla to start with. Uh, I've just got a summary of kind of about me and who I am. To begin with, most of this kind of summary was uh, assisted with ChatGPT, which was pretty helpful. I inputted a couple different prompts trying to give me the best possible output, and that took about 10 goes. And I came up with this, so that's the copy there. I've also got uh, six different um, social medias here that people can link um, or just navigate to my social media. So, for example, if I uh, click open you tab here on Instagram, it will navigate to my personal Instagram account and same with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. And I've also got an option here where people can send me an email. So uh, if I click open new tab here, it's just going to be redirected to where people can contact me and my actual email here. So you can see when you click this link, you'll be redirected where you can send me a message on my Gmail, which could be pretty handy uh, for my personal portfolio if anyone wants to get in contact with me. And in this section here, I've just um, titled it work with me, content I've made about brands in the past. So here I'm just kind of trying to illustrate um, prior success that I've had where I've talked about brands and you know showcase the benefits about these brands so for example with this video that i previously made about wise i made this video on behalf of money hub the video got 117,500 views and the objective here is just to showcase that you know i am capable of receiving pretty decent viewership if i am to say work with a brand which could be pretty attractive to brands right so that's basically the intention here uh and what i've done is i've just embedded um the tiktok video where i made the video about wise here and I've created a separate column, just kind of giving some copy about wires and what I did, and also just a screenshot of the performance of the video. And then I've just done exactly the same thing here uh, in terms of the experience where I talked about flybys and the viewership that that video got as well, you can see here. So it's pretty basic, but it's pretty slick design. And this whole portfolio literally took me less than an hour to create. So I'm pretty happy with it. And obviously, in the future, when I want to add like additional things about me and maybe the services that I provide, I can always add them below this, send my email here. So I'm going to be showcasing exactly how I made this and how you can make a portfolio similar to this and maybe even better than this as well. Also, if I refresh my portfolio here, you'll also be able to see that there are some animations which kind of just add like an additional effect. Uh, and you can also change whether or not you want to see it in dark mode or light mode as well. So you can see the animation kind of appear like that and also the text there. If I wanted to, I could also add some animations towards you know this section as well. Uh, but I've just left it as it is for now. Um, and there's another animation at the bottom there. And if I want to change from light to dark mode, all I need to do is just click up here, uh, which is just like another feature which is pretty awesome about time frame in my opinion. I'll also show you shortly uh, the preview feature as well, where you can see uh, what your portfolio, what your site will look like depending on what screen the user is viewing from. So in this example, I am displaying that I'm seeing this from a you know, computer perspective, whereas you can see like the tablet perspective or the phone perspective as well. So for example, this section here might not look so good in the phone section. So what you might want to do is just completely remove it entirely for when somebody is viewing your portfolio or your site from a phone. So that's just like an additional utility that you can do as well. Okay, so what I'm going to be trying to do now is recreate this whole entire portfolio that I've made from scratch. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go over here and just find a way where I can create a whole new site. So I've got all these sites that I've generated. Obviously, this is the uh, you know, portfolio site that I've created. I've also created the one for my logbook template that I've recently created too. And then I've got four others 
that I think I just randomly generated. So I'm gonna generate another kind of random site now. So what I'm gonna do is just click create a new site. And there are some templates that TypeDream has. Now, to be honest, I found that it's just more advantageous to start from scratch and I feel a lot more comfortable doing that way after I've just gained like a little bit more comprehension on how to use the site. So to begin with, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of all of this and I'm just gonna start with kind of a blank canvas. Now, uh, if I go back to my portfolio, you can see here to begin with, I kind of have two sections. So I've got an image here and I've also got a section where, you know, I'm discussing kind of about me. Now, the terminology that is used here uh, in Type Dream is uh, two different columns. So if I uh, do slash and I enter columns, you can see here I've got two options to kind of input uh, what I'd like to. So if you remember, what I had was an image on the left, which was my profile photo image. So if you just do slash an image, what you can do is you can just add an image here. So I'll add the image of myself now and I'll click here. I'll go to choose an image. And what I'll do is I'll just add my profile photo image that you know I want to select. So now that that's done, all I want to do is basically just copy and paste the same copy that I've got over here. And since I've got that copy now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste this in here. And in my portfolio, what I've done is I've got the section um, aligned to center. So I'm just going to use that. And I think I also had the text a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to change the text style. So I'm just going to copy everything and I'm going to choose subtitle two. I think that's what I had. And I also might make this a little bit bigger. So if I want to change the size from a vertical perspective, I suppose I can just keep dragging this out, but I can also select this feature called auto height. And then this kind of toggle will appear here where I can kind of change the height. Now, I think that's about right. That's basically the same of what I've got in my portfolio. And then I've also got this kind of highlighted text here. So if I want to add that, all I need to do is just select the section that I want to highlight. So I might just uh, select this here and I can change the text color. And I think in my portfolio, I've got it indicated as that. And I also had a section, expertise can benefit you in your business as well. So I'll highlight that as well. So from expertise, I'll select that to business and I'll select this text color here. Now I've got this kind of heading. So if I want to use that uh, in my portfolio, basically all I need to do is do dash and I'll get these different categories, I guess. I think the heading that I used here was heading two or just the second biggest heading. And what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste what I had in my portfolio. So I'll copy that over and there we go. I'll just change the sizing. So it fits in one line like that. And I think I had all of this text highlighted. So I'll change the text color uh, to this. All right, now moving on, I have uh, selected all of these different logos uh, and they all have some sort of animation on my portfolio site. Now, when you input a link um, address on Type Dream, it will give this kind of animation. I've realized when you don't have a link, it won't kind of do this like animation when you hover over it. Um, so let's set that up all now. Now, the way I did this is I did dash and I just selected columns, kind of exactly how I did the image and then also the text here. So I've only got two columns, but you can see in my portfolio, uh, I've got six here basically. So they're just six different columns. So what I'm gonna need to do is uh, create some more columns here. So I'm just gonna generate some more columns here. So what I can do is I can just drag these columns over. So I've got three columns in one row. Now I've got four columns and I also need to generate an additional two columns as well. So let's see if I can do that. All right, perfect. So now that's six columns generated, I'm just gonna change the sizing a little bit. So what I wanna do is just change the uh, vertical height a little bit. So I'm just gonna click this and drag this down. Now, all I need to do is indicate in each column that I wanna put an image in these. So I'm just gonna select image. And now what you can do is just find the image off the internet, internet that you want. So in my portfolio, I have TikTok as the first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna input uh, the TikTok logo that I choose. Um, so if I go to the most recent uh, downloads that I've got, I'm sure that I can find a TikTok logo somewhere. Here we go. Here's one. So hopefully this one fits. And what I might do is I might just skip this section and just uh, put in images. 
for all the different social medias that I want to refer people to. So the next one, for example, will be Discord. So I'm going to set that all up now. Okay, so I finished and putting all the different images here and now I'm going to move on to the next section. Now what I'm going to do is just copy this text and also create the same thing in my portfolio here. And I believe the heading that I have here is the third heading. It looks like the text isn't nearly as big as say uh, the second heading here. So I'm just going to center align this and there we go. I'm also going to paste this text that I've got here. You can see that this text is a little bit bigger in comparison to this one here. So I think I'm going to use either the first or second heading option that I've got here. So if I uh, press enter here twice and I choose the first heading, this should probably be about the right size. If not, I can always change it to the second heading as well. So it looks like this might be a little bit too big. Uh, actually, maybe it's not. I think this might actually be all right. So from memory, I had uh, this text color here. So I'm going to select that. And I think that looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the next block or next section as well. Uh, and this section I'm going to require two different columns because you can see here I've got two columns set up. This is actually an embedded section from TikTok where I'm just redirecting people to the actual video on TikTok if they would like to view it. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. I'll be showing how I uh, managed to do that. I think alternatively something you can do is just download the video directly, but when I attempted to do it, uh, it wasn't working at the time and I thought embedding the video might actually be a better option anyway. So that's what I decided to do. But uh, regardless, let me show you how I did it. So again, what I did was is I uh, created uh, two columns. So I just did dash column. And here, what I did was, is I embedded a video. So I'm just going to select embed. Now, what you're going to need is um, either a link to the video. Previously, I tried to um, directly link my TikTok video that I wanted to upload, but it didn't work because I think there was some sort of error from TikTok when I tried it. So uh, what I actually did is just embedded some code. Now, if you want to do this, all you have to do is go to uh, TikTok. And once you click like the um, video that you want, it will give you the option to embed. I'll show you where it kind of displays it. So my computer's going pretty slow right now. I think it's working pretty hard trying to screen record this video, but basically all you have to do is just click this embed link and it's going to give you all of this copy. So all you have to do is just copy this code and then you'll be able to embed the video in type dream. So I'm just going to select this video here. I know it's not necessarily the correct video for my portfolio or the exact same, but uh, you know, the same concept still applies. You can put any TikTok video that you'd like here. So all I'm going to do is just kind of change the sizing. Um, because as you can see, this is a little bit big right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, do auto hide so I can drag this down and toggle this down until I get the size that I want. Okay, so after doing a little bit of tinkering around, I think this is looking about the right size. It's probably not perfect and I could probably do a little bit more um, adjustments, but I'm just gonna move on. So uh, what I'm wanting to do here is add a little bit of text. So I'm gonna add the biggest heading and I'm just gonna title it wise, just like how I did in the um, portfolio example and I think I also changed the text color as well to something like green and I think I also had some sort of an emoji as well so I'm just going to put this one in there for now but I need to change the text color in order for the emoji to display the color I want so that's that done and if I go down and press enter I'll also be able to add uh, some text or some copy as well for the moment I'm just going to select text and I'm just going to paste the copy that I had over here and I'm just going to input it here. And I think I can change the sizing um, by going to textile and selecting subtitle 2. And then I'll just center align it. And then what I did was is I selected uh, the image that I want. Basically just showcasing what uh, the viewership had on the video. So I'm just going to choose an image. And I'll try to find the exact screenshot that I had. And I'm pretty sure this was the image that I had uh, before. So I'm just going to resize it to make sure... It's basically the right size. Uh, and there we go. That's basically it. And then I also just changed the text color a little bit here and there. I also could do like some sort of adjustment to make it how I want. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then I just did the exact same thing um, in terms of um, creating like another example with flybys. So what I might do is I might just quickly kind of generate it now so you can see. Maybe I'll increase the playback speed or just fast forward. Actually, instead of fast forwarding, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate back here to my original Jackhammer portfolio and I'll just showcase everything in here basically since I've already generated everything. So you can see there are a few different indicators here. So we've got, for example, uh, this like link icon and also this kind of fast forward 
icon as well. So I'll reveal what they mean in a second and how you could set that all up. But yeah, you can basically see how I set up everything here. It's a little bit better put together, I guess, compared to the last one I made, but I did do that one very quickly. But you can see how I set up everything here. It's basically the exact same principle. Um, now, let's talk about these like icons here, this um, fast forward icon. So basically what I did here is I just selected this image, I guess, I guess that's the right block type or component or whatever. And I just added an anim animation to it. And that's why it's coming up with this like icon or indicator here. So all I did is go to advance and I've just set up this animation or this specific animation anyway, uh, called scale in. So if I want to like delete it, uh, which is what I'll just do for this example, I can add in any um, animation that I like to. And my personal favorite is just the grow in. I think that just looks the best. And I've just added that animation to pretty much every single different like block um, or component or whatever you want to call it. So for example, for this text, what's going to happen is when somebody uh, comes to my portfolio, it's just going to grow in. So uh, all I do is just add an animation and click grow in. So that way, for example, when we preview my site, I'm just going to click preview up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see that like my, um, you know, portfolio like grows in or there's like a few different animations here and there. So you can see when my site loads, hopefully. Okay, my computer's been very slow, but you could see there, everything kind of like, you know, was animated and it kind of grew into it. And also something I wanted to showcase before is just the preview feature. So this is displayed as like the desktop mode, but you can also see what it would look like in tablet mode, um, which is pretty sweet. So it looks a little bit different, but it's pretty handy to see that. Now, also you can see here the mobile mode and it looks significantly different compared to the desktop mode, which is something I might need to change and sort out a little bit. Uh, for example here, I feel like everything isn't like aligned as aesthetically compared to like the desktop mode. So maybe what I might do is actually just um, remove the section for mobile users. That's something you can do uh, when you navigate here. Something you can do is just select like um, the block that you want and you can indicate whether or not you want it visible on mobile. So if I clicked here, for example, now mobile users wouldn't be sitting, seeing this like embedded um, TikTok video section here. Now, in terms of adding links, you can just see here when I click uh, the TikTok image that I created. All I've done is just inputted this uh, link here. And I can also illustrate whether or not I want to open a new tab when somebody clicks uh, my you know, TikTok image or whatever. Um, and it's pretty easy to edit and stuff. So you can see my TikTok link is here. Same for you know my Discord, same for my Instagram and everything like that. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And if you think you've made like any spacing errors uh, or you wanna change anything, you can just select like X-ray mode that I've clicked up here. And you can also just, you know, see everything. Maybe you can make some changes. For example, I might want to change this YouTube logo because it's a little bit out of place or whatever. And I can also just see like, you know, does everything look properly formatted and all this kind of stuff. So X-ray mode is pretty handy. Now, originally what I thought for this video, something I would do is just um, recreate my car logbook that I made from scratch or the site called Malmate. Um, I think that's just like the branding that I've gone with for this uh, logbook or whatever but what I might do is just kind of briefly go over how I created this because I think with that you know prior tutorial will be pretty self-explanatory so for example um, with this heading all I did was is uh, just a dash and then heading and it was just h1 if I change it to h3 you'd see it would go way smaller but I want the you know biggest heading possible so I went with h1 actually what I think I did was for this heading a way you can make it bigger is go text and then you can uh, select you know all the text that you want and put it as title so you can see it looks way bigger and then i just had the text color to something like this so i'll probably <laughs> change that back now and then for this text all i've got is uh the subtitle one text so i don't really want it to be too big i don't want it to be the same as it was before so i'm just gonna command z that and then i've got a button here just redirecting uh people to the actual logbook which I'm selling on a platform called Gumroad. Um, it's currently free by the way, so if you're interested in you know, a mileage logbook template or just my one, um, it's free for the moment anyway at the time of recording this video. And if you're curious how I made that button, basically all I did was just dash and there's this feature where you can create a button. And I just center aligned it and then I just made the color how I wanted it and all the stuff. Uh, and then I just redirected the link towards the Gumroad store. So pretty easy. Um, and that's how I did that. And then for this image, uh, what I did was is I went into uh, Photoshop and I inputted the screenshot into Photoshop and then I just added this yellowy drop shadow because I thought without the drop shadow, it just didn't look 
like as good. So I wanted to make it uh, pop a little bit. It might not look that good to some people, but I think it looks a little bit better uh, with the drop shadow compared to without it. And then for all this text, I just did the heading one, I believe. And then I also uploaded, you know, these images just because I thought it would look good and people will resonate, you know, with these three delivery driving uh, applications if you're from New Zealand. So I thought that was worthwhile doing. And then I've also got this uh, link here. Uh, redirecting people to my actual personal logbook if they'd like to check it out and see you know how I use my personal logbook and then I've just got more information talking about the logbook itself and what I did here is just generate two different columns one for uh, an image and then one for just you know different copy indicating you know what I'm trying to illustrate with my logbook here so so I've kind of got a pattern here where I've got like images and text on alternate sides and stuff like that I think it looks pretty good I've seen some other websites that I really like have a similar uh, kind of pattern or just uh, display or whatever you want to call it and I know it's pretty basic but to be able to get a website uh, that looks like this live and you know a really quick time I think that's a really powerful resource which is why I wanted to make this video and also I was thinking recently my friend recently um, has had this site created for him uh, from one of his friends I think I think his friend has like uh, some knowledge or expertise in like coding and website design and stuff and I'm not too sure how much it cost my friend um, or if it costed any money for my friend to, you know, outsource this like website or whatever. But I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is something I probably could have created in Type Dream, maybe not um, to an identical standard, but very similarly anyway. For example, you can see here, I would be able to just generate two columns, one with an image here, and also the different, you know, headings and text here on the left. And then also I would be able to, you know, generate the right sizing here and center align everything. And for this section here, all I would need to do is generate, you know, four different columns in a row and four different columns below that. And I would be able to generate this exact same thing. And then once again, all I would need to really do here is maybe change the color of the background or select an image and then just input the text in the image with the correct sizing. And then once again here, all I would need to do is uh, generate two different columns. And then within this column on the right, I would generate like four additional columns and also a button here. Um, with a link wherever this goes and then you can see here again what I would do here is just generate you know maybe paragraph text here and then I generate a heading here with the one or two variation and then uh, following down I'd maybe add like a spacer in between this with five columns and then in each column I would indicate you know bigger text here once again two columns with an image on the right and then text on the left and then here I would have another center aligned heading um, and for this section I don't know if it's something I could create um, in terms of like being able to rotate the different pricing plans for everything. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's something I'd be able to do, but I could create something similar. Maybe I could have like five different columns of different pricing plans, or I could create maybe three rows of two different pricing plans. I don't know, something like that anyway. And again, I'm not entirely sure how much my friend you know paid for this service in order for somebody to design this website for him but i do know from personal experience as well you know people do pay a lot of money for websites which is why you know i wanted to make this video so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got a lot of value from it